Laura, how do you feel after today's game? Um, I mean, it's nice. We've uh, we've lost the last three games before today, so to come away with the win is really nice to see. I mean, there's still other things that we need to improve upon, but, I mean, we got the W today, and we were able to stop our losing streak, which is nice. Absolutely. Was there anything that you as a team specifically keyed on in order to get a win for today? Um, we just focused on ourselves. So you guys had a great win today. What are you looking forward to keep that momentum going and for the rest of the season? I mean, I think it's good that we got the win. Ryan told me that you were the first player he trained 10 years ago when he first got on this campus. Now you work alongside of him every day as an assistant strength coach. Tell me about your dynamic and how that has changed over the last 10 years. Whoa. So you've been a part of Syracuse men's basketball for seven years now, first as a manager and then as a graduate assistant. Can you describe to us the role that you witnessed Ryan play with the men's basketball team? Inside the Carmelo K. Anthony Basketball Center lies an unsung hero by the name of Ryan Kabilis. Ryan Kabilis is the Director of Strength and Conditioning for both men's and women's basketball here at SU and has been so for 10 years. Men's basketball head coach Jim Beheim and women's basketball head coach Quentin Hillsman both had great things to say about Ryan and how they really appreciate the role he plays in their program. While working with the Orange, Ryan has helped both basketball programs reach three Final Fours and one national championship game collectively. Day in and day out, Ryan dedicates his work to bettering these student athletes. SU greats such as Brittany Sykes, Tyler Lydon, Michael Benninger, and others have signed their thank you note to Ryan on a basketball sneaker. One athlete in particular, Rakeem Christmas, took advantage of all that Ryan has to offer during his last year with the Orange. Ryan strives daily to improve his expertise for the athletes and the program, hoping to win more national championships along the way. Pencil in the weekend of September 15th, 16th, and 17th as Festival Weekend. Syracuse has a great Italian heritage and it's displayed every year at Festa Italiana in downtown Syracuse. And what is a festival without food? You can find lots of it at Festa Italiana that weekend. There is no admission, it's free, with lots of music and, did we mention great Italian food? Shops and restaurants create the heart of Syracuse nightlife in Armory Square. And don't be afraid to get a little geeked out and visit one of the three awesome museums downtown. The Everson Museum of Art, the Onondaga Historical Association, or the Erie Canal Museum. There is a lot of history here in Syracuse and Central New York. And a common regret from outgoing students is they didn't spend enough time learning about the place they called home for four years. You've been on two great teams thus far in your career. Both have been to the NCAA tournament, made a championship run. How has that experience been for you? So, Abby, now we're going to play Get Out of the Icebox. In order to get out of the icebox, you must answer the trivia question correctly within about 10 seconds. Okay? All right. So, don't be nervous. 10 seconds. Take your time. You ready? Ready, guys. Awesome. So, today's trivia question is, how many current wins does Coach Quinn Hillsman have here at SU? Your choices are A, 241, B, 307, or C, 430? Going to go A, 241. Yes, good job, Abs. Coach Quentin Hillsman currently has 241 wins here at SU. He will definitely add in the next year as Abby and Orange would be absolutely spectacular. Abby, thank you so much for joining me on the Icebox today. It was really a pleasure having you. Thank you for having me. You're obviously from New Jersey, and pen relays are coming out, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Yes. Um, for those of you who don't know, pen relays is the oldest and largest track meet in the country held annually at the University of Pennsylvania. Was it ever your dream to compete in pen relays, and if so, did that dream come true? Honestly. So coming into your freshman year, what were some goals that you set for your career, and have you met them? Hey, guys. Thanks for joining me in the Icebox today. Thank you for having me. So to start off, you're from Chicago. Where's your favorite place to eat? What does the field hockey team have to do to ensure a long run in this tournament? Well, this past weekend, they lost to Virginia 2-1. to one. Um, The first period was scoreless. Second period, Ruz Weirs hit a goal, but then they couldn't respond to UVA's two goals. Then they came back on Sunday and had a 4-0 win against Drexel, which was good. So I think they really need to have more offensive aggressiveness. I think getting goals scored early and often is very important to win this game. Volleyball is currently 15-8. and eight. They went 500 this past weekend, 1-3 and three at Georgia Tech, and then 3-0 and oh at Clemson. In. How can they get back to being consistent and get it on a winning streak? Yeah, she did such an amazing job. It really was incredible what she did. Great. I, I think it's 
nice who is left behind after Courtney. Obviously, that we don't know the next goalie, but there's a Kate Donovan that had five goals on the year, a sophomore, and then another freshman who also had, I think, three goals on the year. So they were leading in goal scoring. They're rising sophomores, which is great leadership coming into next year. And then there were two freshmen who started 18 games this season. So it's positive for next year because you have young people coming back that are experienced, that'll bring leadership, and hopefully guide a new class of freshmen coming in that will bring this team to a new level next season. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them play. Yeah, me too. Ryan not only cares about the athletic ability of these students, but more so about the personal growth he witnesses through the years working with them. Whoa, 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 slow down. I know you've got questions and we've got answers. Stay tuned. We'll give you some tips from the class of 2017 and leave you with a shameless plug for our local SU media. But first, you're at SU. Let's get you squared away with some of the basics. Now let's talk about what to do when you're not studying or going to class. Believe it or not, Syracuse is more than just snow and basketball. There. Well, that's it. We hope you've gotten to know Syracuse a little bit better than you did before. But now, it's up to you.